but took a bronze in the 500. And she realized against the likes of uh, uh, Lisa Carrington from New Zealand, you know, that was a good performance, but really genuinely delighted as she crossed the line here in front of her home crowd. As Ross said there, there's no better place to do that, to win a World Championships in front of your family and friends. So a wonderful result for her. We'll take a look at the C1 500 metres. They're lining up already. Anika Lusk, we can see there, the German in lane one. Next to her, Ludmia Lusan. So we've already seen her win the C2 event in the 500 metres. Here she is again, less than an hour later, with a great chance of winning a medal in the C1 500 metre event. Next to her, Katie Vincent didn't take part in the C2, where she was an Olympic medalist here at the World Championships, choosing instead to focus on the C1 event. The tall figure of Katie Vincent there. And we've got Maria Corbera, who qualified extremely well. Really good performance from her. She was a medalist from the World Cup in Zeged in Hungary earlier in the season. So watch out for her over this 500 meter distance. Maria Maillard from Chile. Really good 200 meter paddler, Maria Maillard. Now, whether or not the 500 meters proves too long, well, that remains to be seen. She took a second place in the shorter event in the World Cup in Barnal in Russia. Then Alina Nadrova from Belarus. Seventh at the recent World Cup in Hungary. There's Katie Reid from Dunfermline. The Scot, really, really late call-up for the Olympic Games in Tokyo for her. She only found out days before flying out she was going. She's done well to qualify in seven. In eight is Agnes Kiss. And in nine, Alina Kovaleva from the Russian Federation. So Katie Reid in the grey boat gets to a good start, but it's the Spaniard, Maria Corbera, in this C1 500 meter event that gets away to the best start. So Corbera is in lane four, so four from the right of your pitcher in the white boat, the left-hander there making her way towards the halfway mark. The start is already underway, and now they settle into their rhythm. This race, well, it's 500 meters, as I said, remember, so that'll be taking for the women just over two minutes, most probably in these conditions. And we saw really some uh, interesting races over this season. Vanessa Tott from Croatia, who has struggled here at the World Championship, but she won the World Cup in Bernal. World Cup in Hungary, well, that was Ludmia Lutzan, the Ukrainian, she won that one. Lutzan, watch for her. She qualified in lane two. She's out of it the first split, but there's some way to go yet. There's around another minute yet. And you can see just how hard it is. The look on the Spaniards. Maria Corbera's face just showing the effort that's going into this. And then you can see also Maria Maillard, the Chilean paddler. Well, she's, she's holding it well on this 500 meter race there. Really good technique from her, really getting that stroke in at the front and locking on, driving that front leg forwards, all the weight going through that front leg. Whereas it looks like Maria Corbera, well, she's spent all her energy, spent all her money already, and there's about four in a row here. Watch out for Ukraine, Ludmila Lutzan is coming. She is charging towards the finish line now in that yellow boat, putting all the rest under pressure. It looks like Maria Maillard may just have enough over the line, but we will see. It's between her and the late, fast-finishing Lutzan to take the gold medal. Looks like Ludmila Lutzan will have to settle for silver at the World Championships. And well, Katie Vincent, Maria Corbera, they were in there for the bronze, weren't they? But Maria Maillard, a great race from her, paced it to perfection. As I say, she's had some good results in World Cups this year, particularly over the 200 meter distance. Not so much over the longer 500 meters. A fantastic result for her there at the World Championships. Start so important as you can see here. They all get away clearly, they all get away well. Maybe on the first few strokes, it was a paddler from Spain, Maria Corbera, that got away best. Also, the Belarusian was up there, Nadrova. It was the middle part of the course when Maillard's strength 
and technique really began to show. She eked out with every stroke a lead over the other paddlers. And a good charge once again towards the finish. So Nads Rover, the Belarusian, she got away to a good start, settled a lot in the middle, but came strongly towards the end to fight for the bronze medal. So Mylar takes the goal. Looked like, to me, Ludmila Lutzan taking the silver. And then there's a real fight for the bronze medal. So Maria Mylard, Ludmila Lutzan and Alena Nadzrova are confirmed as the medalists. We should get a look at the photo finish from the previous race as well, which was the K1 women 200 meters very shortly. No doubt about the win there. 205, so a quick time from Maria Mylard there from took the bronze medal Maria, for the can Russian you Federation. You are a world champion. That's so unbelievable. <laughs> so unreal. But I'm so happy because I, I trained so hard these last four years. So it's good to be here. It's good to be in the first place. It's been a really hard year. You've had the Olympics. Now you've come here and you've become a world champion. Uh, it's, how hard has the, the work been for you? Yeah, it's, I don't know how to say, but it's a good gift after my situation in the Olympics here. Well, congratulations. Enjoy it, Maria. I don't know how many Chilean world champions there have been, but you're one. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Well, I think the answer is that's the first one.